Hello, everyone, and welcome to another webinar brought to you by Rasley Security. I'm Ellie Spitz, Vice President of Business Development at Rasley, and today we're going to have a short look at what makes the iSecurity Report Generator and Scheduler unique. Some of the highlights. Well, first of all, the same report generator is provided with all of our products, meaning that it's easy to uh, learn and easy to use once, you've, uh, once you're familiar with the report generator. It includes hundreds of pre-packaged, pre-built, out-of-the-box, ready-to-run reports, providing you with instantaneous benefit. It includes super-rich Boolean and iSecurity unique comparators, which we'll see in a few moments. The report generator produces summary and detailed reports, which are based both on the Q Audit Journal, the system journal information, as well as on current IBMI status of the system. And we can auto automatically run real-time actions on report line items. This is a, uh, a request that we've received from many of our users. In short, the report generator is feature-rich, so keep watching. Um, Q Audit Journal Flow Diagram. As you can see here on the left, the Q Audit Journal, as we all know, includes information, lots of information about users, authorities, and objects. iSecurity provides its own status entry types, which reference user profiles, system values, active jobs, objects, groups, etc. in the system. From these two sources, we provide outputs in three areas. Number one, uh, GUI based visualizer product which uh, performs business intelligence on the log files that have been produced. It's great for pinpointing uh, very, very particular situations. Number two, we can send out alerts based upon all that has happened over here in this area. The alerts are sent as emails, message queues, uh, smartphone text messages, CL scripts, etc. We also produce <clears throat> audit files, which our report generator and scheduler uses in order to send, for example, emails with HTML, PDF, CSV, or Excel attachments. We can look at the output of the GUI, etc. I mentioned uh, the iSecurity specific entry types. On the left, you'll see some of them. The ones that begin with dollar are all iSecurity specific entry types. The ones that you see here on the right are just an example of the IBM provided uh, entry types. C ampersand is an iSecurity entry type which, for example, reports on user profiles which have been changed and provides before and after images. Again, the same report generator is part of all the iSecurity products. You see them here in the middle of the screen. Uh, I won't go into them right now. But suffice it to say that uh, it's very, very easy to use the report generator, certainly after having learned it in one product. Once again, the iSecurity products uh, come with prepackaged reports. These begin with a Z. The second and third letters are the IBM entry type or the RASD entry type dollar $A, dollar $B, etc. We even provide a classification of the report on the extreme right, which can be searched later on. Classification C meaning compliance, U for users, O for objects, J for jobs, etc. We provide super rich Boolean and iSecurity unique comparators. If we just go down the list here, have a look at some of them. Uh, the name of the object begins with, needs to begin with ERP in order for us to pass the filter condition. The library name, um, if the library name in the event is an item which appears in the list of production libraries, which is in the group of libraries, then this uh, condition is met. So all we have to do is define the list of production libraries, put them in this list of, in, the, in this group of libraries and uh, we can search like this in a dynamic format. User profile name can be one of the list of names that appear here. Authorization list name, in this case we're talking about not in a program, in other words, or not, not returned by a program. So this particular program, SMZ4, etc., is called and it checks the authorization list name, 
returns uh, yes or no. And uh, so the entry here is selected accordingly in accordance with an external program. Object, does it exist? Yes, it does. And again, these are just some of the filter conditions that you see here on top of the on the top half of the screen. Okay, so when a field has numerous possible values, an F4 can be used to equate or non-equate, for example, uh, the type of job. Is it you know a batch job or interactive, etc.? Selecting one. Uh, we'll then fill out the, for, the format of the filter condition. We don't have to uh, know exactly what the codes are. Really very, very helpful feature. When we select output fields, we can select the order of the output fields. We can find a particular output field by just typing in a few letters. Uh, we can set the output length as well. So we have full control over the output. Regarding sort, we also have full control. We can set the uh, sort fields here. We can sort in ascending or in descending order. We can decide to uh, break after a number of sort fields. And we can also, and this is, I think, a unique uh, feature as well, we can, in, we can decide to include one record in the output, in other words, one record per key, uh, and this is uh, this is used often in order to provide summary reports. Again, these features, many of these features, are requests from our customers. We strive to answer such requests as uh, as much as we can. Finally, after setting the output values and the output format and the sort uh, parameters. We can run the query. The query, you can see, we this is the name of the query. Display the last 10 minutes, starting time and ending time. Um, do we want to run an action on the result? I mentioned this at the beginning. There is a possibility to run a corrective or any kind of action on the output. I'll show you that in a moment. The system to run for, in this case, we're running on a group of systems. So this query will run on a group of systems. We're interested in seeing just 100 records. The output will be in HTML format. It will be merged into a single output and placed on the current system. The output will be mailed to this email address with this email text. And we have other parameters here for compressing uh, and sending together the output. Zip, for example, uh, the object size in megabytes, in which we allow for attachments or not, etc. So once we have the output, uh, we can automatically run real-time actions, as I mentioned, on line output by, uh, as you can see here, we want to run an action called change user profile on any one of these four lines of output from this uh, from this uh, report, which is for dormant users of more than 60 days of inactivity. We want to change their user profile, start from the cursor, run for two records. And uh, it really is very easy, and it runs well. And uh, again, these are requests from the field. We can also create a subset of the report output via the filter as I mentioned earlier, and save the new filter definition as a new report for reuse. In other words, if this is the output uh, here on the left, I can then get a subset of only those that are enabled and save the modified query, give it a new name, $A for all user profiles, enable all enabled user profiles, and I've generated a new report for use. In summary, uh, we've seen the report generator and scheduler of iSecurity. I hope that you've uh, been satisfied with the uh, level of detail that I provided in this webinar. And should you require anything further, please contact me at marketing at rasley.com. Thanks and have a great day.